Before we leave um, Chapter 4 behind, I have a couple more things I wanted to show you guys, um, a couple more neat tricks. So we just did linear regression. You can see the, the equation of the line right here. Well, you can't really see the equation of the line, which is one of the things I want to talk to you about. So it gives you the information to write the equation of the line, but to write the actual equation, you've got to type it in yourself. So for example, um, this particular one, let me, I'm going to bring up an equation editor. Hold on. There he is. Okay, so it asks you state the line of the equation of best fit. Um, and every book's slightly different. So, for example, our particular book says y hat, which is this guy right here, equals negative 0 0.283, or 2826 if you like, times x plus 69.1081. Okay, now where am I getting those numbers from? It's right here. It tells you that it, when it does the linear regression, it's doing it ax plus b. Y and x are variables. Okay, so they're they're constantly changing. When you look at a, um, for example, this one, free reduced lunch, x is the percent free reduced lunch. So it could be all, all sorts of different numbers, right? The y is the percent that are passing reading. And again, that can be all sorts of different things. But A and B are constants. They're numbers, right? And your calculator figures out what they are. So A is this guy right here, which is negative 0.2826. That's the slope. And then B is 69.108. That's the y-intercept. Okay? So that's the equation of the line of best fit. Now, it also asks you, oopsie, I don't know why that put that there. Hold on. Um, sorry, I had to pause that for a second. Now, it, I know that in my notes and in most courses, they also ask you to interpret the slope and the intercept. So I just want to real quickly talk about that, even though I know it's not really in the calculator. Um, but the, the issue with that is that it's a really tricky thing. So what you want to say for the slope is every time your x, x, which in this case is the percent of students that have free reduced lunch, goes up by 1. It's always 1 because slope is rise over run. So this is 0.2826 over 1. Right? You don't see the 1 there, but it's always there. So if you want to interpret the slope, oopsie, if I could type it. Hello. It'd be every time the percent of free reduced, oopsie, reduced lunch goes up in a school by one, the percent that pass the standardized reading test, which is the example in this one, goes down by, well, 28.3%. Okay? Up here you could say 1%, although you said the word percent in there, so um, that's the way to interpret the slope. So for you, it's every time your x goes up by 1 and put in whatever your x is. So in our case, it's this free reduced lunch thing. Your y, which in our case is the percent passing reading, goes up or down. Now, why did ours go down? Right, I said it went down. It's because it's negative. See, the slope is negative. And you can see it in the points, right? As free reduced lunch goes up, percent passing reading goes down. Um, roughly, you're saying that the more students you have in your school that are poor, right, can't afford lunch, the lower your reading scores are for that school. Now, the y-intercept, which doesn't really make any sense in this case, but that's okay, we can say it. Um, if a school has zero students, right, zero percent, you can put it that way, zero percent of students on free reduced lunch, we'd estimate they'd have a 69.12 percent passing rate on the standard reading test. Okay. Now, that doesn't really make any sense. I mean, no school, especially since these are all public schools, right? No public school has any, has 0% of people on free reduced lunch. That's just not the way it works. But that's how you would interpret it. This is definitely outside the scope of our model, however, because the lowest percentage we have is, what, 17, 15, right? Zero is a long ways away from that. All right, so I will see you here next time for how to draw the line on the scattergram. See you, bye.